For most of my Linux videos, I've been using KDN Live to do the video editing, and for the most part I'm just using the splicing and audio correction tools within KDN Live, so there's nothing too taxing there. But sometimes I go a bit over and above and have to do some more advanced effects, particularly when I'm using my camcorder, because it's not very good and doesn't really pick up lighting particularly well, and also I have not invested in studio lighting. So yeah, it's got quite a few factors going against it. But also when I'm trying to record the TV, the, well the TV runs at 60 frames per second, but the camcorder being pretty useless only runs at 50 frames per second. So I get scan lines. All that has to be removed, and I do in KDN Live. They also did this little effect of the Raspberry Pi blowing up in KDN Live too. I have used some other video editing tools like PTV. I did that a bit early on, it's not very flexible though. And OpenShot as well, again I did that early on and I can't really remember much about it now. But I remember finding it a bit limiting on rendering. Now people have asked me, why don't I use Lightworks? Well, I don't know, I've never really gotten around to trying it. But it looks so advanced though. Look at the screen there in the picture, and then compare that to Caden Live. Well, Caden Live is so simple. Well, yeah, you can customise the screen a bit here and get some of those tools, but, well, it seems a bit uh, more pleasing and simple here. Perhaps one of the things I could gain using Lightworks is the ability to render from the graphics card, because in Caden Live it's limited to the CPU core, and I have six cores in my CPU, so it's not all that bad. But when it comes to editing these colour correction and removing scan lines, it's very taxing. And what was it? A six minute video took the best part of an hour to render. So let's show you some of what I did. So I can start with the colour correction. So that is add effect, colour correction, and I'm looking for the three point balance. So with these I want to tell it what should actually be black and white. So this should be the white colour. Perhaps a little bit overkill there. But take something more towards the middle of the screen. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. And what should be black? Uh, the outer edge of the TV, or that. Let's try that first. Yeah, that's more like it. We can do a split screen preview here for the colour correction. Perfect. The other effect is the denoiser. So that is enhancement denoiser. I want to go to a part of the video which is more noticeable on the noise. Probably where there's a light background. That shows some of it there. Yes. So it's the temporal denoiser I want to adjust, and it has to go quite a way up. You can see it's a lot less now, the scan lines. From what I remember on this video, it was almost maxed out. Yeah. You can see a lot of the scan lines are now gone. To confirm that. Just a bit of a difference there. Doesn't need much on the spatial denoiser. And other than that, it was uh, the rotation and cropping. So I'll just get a TV a bit more aimed in the middle. So it's just something like that. Left, right, yeah. And it needed a slight bit of rotation on it as well. So that's crop and transform, rotate and shear. So rotate X, uh, was it a few degrees, yep, no, the other way. <laughs> Far less than that. Come on. Something like that. And that significantly improves the quality of the video. So that was a bit of a look at what I do in KDN Live. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.